this time, I am going to discuss the concept of acceleration. So acceleration, of course, if an object has changing velocity. For instance, a car whose velocity increases in magnitude from 0 to 80 kilometers per hour is said to be accelerating. Acceleration specified how rapidly the velocity of an object is changing. So it can be computed using the equation change in velocity per unit of time, or in symbol, that is A is equal to V of 2 minus V of 1 over T of 2 minus T of 1, or delta V over delta T. Acceleration is a vector quantity, and using a plus or minus sign is enough to indicate the direction relative to a chosen coordinate system. The concept of instantaneous acceleration can be defined as analogy to instantaneous velocity. That is, acceleration A is equal to the limit of the change in velocity with respect to time as the change in time approaches zero or the derivative of the velocity with respect to time, or the second derivative of position with respect to time. So in your module, you have a word problem, and first of which is, a car accelerates along a straight road from rest to 75 kilometers per hour in 5 seconds. What is the magnitude of its average acceleration? So based on the word problem, we have a given we have 75 kilometers per hour here, we have 5 seconds, and there is a word there, rest. So rest would be our initial velocity, 75 kilometers per hour would be the final velocity, and then the time is 5 seconds. So the acceleration of the car would be computed, which is equal to 75 kilometers per hour minus 0 over 5, which is equivalent to 15 kilometers per hour per second. However, on the unit, the unit of time here is 2. So we can simplify this value by converting the velocity of the car in terms of meters per second. That would be 75 kilometers per hour is equivalent to 20.83 meters per second. And by applying the same equation, so its acceleration would be 20.83 meters per second minus 0 meters per second divided by 5 seconds, which would be equivalent to 4.17 meters per second per second, or that is 4.17 meters per second squared. On the second one, so we have a particle's position is given by the equation x is equal to 4 minus 2070 plus t cubed. Find the velocity as a function of time and acceleration as a function of time. So in here, we were given the value or the equation of the position, which is 4 minus 2070 plus t cubed. So for us to solve first the velocity, based on the previous video, we've learned that for us to compute velocity, we need to take the derivative of the position with respect to time. So that would be the derivative of 4 minus 2070 plus t cubed. So taking the derivative by term. So the derivative of constant here for which be 0. The derivative of negative 2070 is negative 27. And the derivative of t cubed would be 3t squared. So therefore, the velocity of the particle as a function of time is given by the equation negative 27 plus 3t squared. The next, for its acceleration, that is just the taking the derivative of the velocity. So that would be acceleration is equal to the derivative of negative 27 plus 3t squared. So again, taking the derivative each term. So the derivative of constant is 0. The next, take the derivative of 3t squared. So the derivative of 3t squared is equivalent to 60. So therefore, the acceleration of the particle as a function of time is given by the equation 60. The next question is, is there ever a time when velocity is equal to zero? 
So for us to solve this one, we need to analyze that we need to compute time when v is equivalent to zero. So we have an equation of velocity, which is equivalent to negative 27 plus 3t squared. And we let this equation to be equal to zero. Therefore, zero is equal to negative 27 plus 3t squared. And we are going to apply algebra. So we are going to transpose the constant negative 27 at the other side, it will become positive. So we have 27 is equal to 3t squared. Divide both sides by 3, so that 3 here will be cancelled. So if you simplify, that is 9 is equal to t squared. So our unknown t still has a power of 2, so we need to take that by taking the root. So therefore, t would be equivalent to positive or negative 3 seconds. However, since we are looking for time, and the value of time should always be positive. Therefore, the final answer for this given problem would be t is equal to 3 seconds. Next one, we have and try it yourself. So the first word problem is at highway speeds. A particular automobile is capable of an acceleration of about 1.6 meters per second squared. At this rate, how long does it take to accelerate from 80 kilometers per hour to 110 kilometers per hour? So in here, the unknown is time. So it asks how long. So in terms of time, how long does it take to accelerate from? So this would be our initial velocity to 110 kilometers per hour, which is our final velocity. And our acceleration is 1.6 meters per second squared. So we need to convert uh, 80 kilometers per hour into meters per second so that it will have the same unit with that of acceleration. So 18 kilometers per hour is the same as 22.22 meters per second. Then 110 kilometers per hour is the same with 30.56 meters per second. So the acceleration is given by the equation of change in velocity over time. However, the unknown is time. So we are going to derive an equation of time. So the equation of time would be change in velocity over acceleration. And when you say change in velocity, that would be final velocity minus initial velocity. So 30.56 meters per second minus 22.22 meters per second divided by 1.6 meters per second squared. And the uh, value for time would be 5.21 seconds. So that is how to compute for time given the acceleration, initial velocity, and your final velocity. On the second item for try it yourself, we have a particle with a velocity of 18 meters per second in the positive x direction. And 2.4 seconds later, its velocity was 30 meters per second in the opposite direction. What was the average acceleration of the particle during this 2.4 second interval? So the initial velocity, as stated, is 18 meters per second. Time is 2.4 seconds. Final velocity is negative 30 meters per second. So it's negative because of the statement in the opposite direction. So the animation shows the behavior of our particle. So using the equation of acceleration, that is change in velocity over time, which is equal to negative 30 meters per second minus 18 meters per second divided by 2.4 seconds, which is equal to negative 20 meters per second. On the third one, in an arcade video game, a spot is programmed to move across the screen according to the equation, where x is distance in centimeters measured from the left edge of the screen, and t is in time in seconds. 
Then the spot which has a screen edge at either x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 15 centimeters, t is reset to 0. And the spot starts moving again according to the equation. At what time after starting is the spot spontaneously at rest? Where does this occur and what is its acceleration when this occurs? So the first unknown is at what time after starting is the spot in spontaneously at rest? So based on that statement, we have the uh, word rest, which means that we need to determine the time at velocity equal to zero. So that would be first is to compute the velocity at any given time, or that is the derivative of the position with respect to time, which is equivalent to 9 minus 2.25 t squared. So we let v to be 0. So therefore, 0 is equal to 9.0 minus 2.25 t squared. Applying algebra, so we have 2.25 t squared is equal to 9.0. Divide both sides by 2.25 so that this quantity will be cancelled, leading to t squared, which is equal to 4. And lastly, take the root, so therefore t would be equivalent to 2. Second, where does this occur? So this statement is asking the position. So it's the position of the spot at time 2 seconds. So for us to answer that one, we just need to substitute t from the equation of x. When x is equal to 9.0t minus 0.75t cubed, substitute t with the value of 2, therefore x is equivalent to 12 centimeters. And lastly, what is its acceleration when this occurs? So first, we need an equation of acceleration. And acceleration can be computed by taking the derivative of the velocity which is the derivative of 9 minus 2.25 t squared, which is equal to negative 4.5 t. And then substitute t with a value of 2 seconds. So therefore, the acceleration when velocity is 0 is equivalent to negative 9 centimeters per second squared. So that is the basic uh, principles about acceleration and instantaneous acceleration. In the next video, we are going to discuss motion at constant acceleration.